Hey guys, Joe Schmo here, and today I am at Chipasic Park. And where I stand right now is coordinates negative 92, negative 58. And I looked a little bit to see what it was about, and then I decided let's record this. So, right outside the park, you can see there's a visitor section. This is just where you can stand around this perimeter fence and view what's going on in the middle, which is where we're gonna go right now. So this is the players this way, enter the big gates. <clears throat> what we have here, uh, over here there's two pens. This pen says 70 degrees and is hot. And then this pen, oh yeah, so it says drop three summer chippas here. It's hot. Drop three winter chippas here. This is negative 30 degrees. And then there's a sign that explains how you play the game. Objective, your goal is to populate the summer and winter environments with three creatures. Each creature has an ideal temperature. If the environment has a difference of more than eight degrees, it will not survive. Play with the neutral environment temperature and the neutral areas over here. And rely on natural selection to create creatures that are comfortable in different temperatures. So I play with this a little bit. So what we got here is currently the temperature is 30 degrees in there. So it's nowhere as near the 70 degrees of the summer pen or negative 30 degrees in the winter pen. And we have 10 out of 10 chippas, and there they are in there. They're silly names and stuff, and they all look a little different. So what I was doing was I, I rose the temperature just a little bit. So now we're at 40 degrees. And some of them that can't handle the temperature, their health goes down and they die. And you can see on the board up there, we have only nine chippas now. But then look, it goes back to 10 because they repopulate over time too. So I'm pretty sure the idea is you need to raise it gradually, not too much where they all die off, just a little bit. Some will die off, but they'll repopulate and hopefully repopulate with a chippa that can handle more heat. So we're gonna increase it again to 50 degrees. So some of their health's going down. Look, we went down seven, four, three. Okay, they're going down really far. Probably need at least two to repopulate. I don't know. I don't know if we lose at one. Uh, okay, they're slowly coming back because we got three. They're hanging in there. Oh, we got two again, though. Oof, we might not make it. Plinky, he, he can handle the heat. Yeah, I think we lost. Let's see, anyone going to be repopulated here? If I lower the temperature. Oh, okay, so they're starting to come back. That's good. So I guess you don't lose if there's one. Probably if you lose all of them, that's it. So population's going back up. While remaining at 40 degrees, we started at 30. Back at eight, nine, 10. Okay, let's try raising the heat again and see how many survive. Hopefully more than just one. Okay, they're doing much better. Last time they died off so quickly. I see a couple going down, a couple more. A lot are hanging in there. We have like three named Jojo. Yeah, so look, we got 10 and we're at 50 degrees. So let's raise it a little more. And we're losing quite a few. I'm gonna lower the temperature. Oh, did I hit that? I don't think so. Come on. And yeah, we went down the two. <laughs> Not very good at taking care of these things, am I? Uh, looks like I don't see their health going down. These look like they can handle it, so population will start to go back up. 
All right, I'm going to play around. I'm going to cut this, and then I'll come back once I make some more progress. Okay, so I believe I have at, uh, at least three over 70 degrees. So I'm going to walk up to the pen. I'm going to click on one. I grab this guy, and I got to bring him to the warm summer chippa one. Click on that. Okay, so he's in there, he's 70.86 degrees. I'm gonna grab another one over 70. Let's see Chiffy over here, let's see if we can grab Chiffy. Oh, getting stuck, there we go. Come here Chiffy. Did I grab him? Yep. I believe I did. Okay, let's bring him over here. Into the pen. Yep, he's doing fine, 71.51 degrees. Okay, and, and Ryan over here at 70.71. Come here, Ryan. Oh, he's running away from me. Come back. Here, boy. Can I jump in here? Okay, I can go right in the pen. For some reason I thought I couldn't. Come here, Ryan. That's a good boy. I'm gonna put you over here in your ideal environment with the others, because we're gonna change where you were and start making things cold and get some cold resistant chippas. Okay, so let's see. Boom, so we got three. All right, I'm gonna start making this cold and when I have three cold ones, I'll start recording again and we'll see if something happens. All right, we're getting there. You can see these uh, things are getting hairier. They're evolving to deal with the cold, no doubt. And uh, I just wanna let everyone know this is a lot harder since I got all the summer ones done I removed the three and as you can see you can only have seven in this pen now because the other three are in the summer pen. So you're dealing with seven instead of ten so the process is taking a lot longer and I'm and I also started at 70 degrees and I have to go all the way down to negative 30 whereas when you start the game you start at 30 degrees and you just have to go from 30 to uh, the 70. So just keep in mind it's going to take a lot longer if you do this the way that I'm doing it. Although I, I can't really think of how else you would do it. But uh, anyway, once I get these guys acclimated to negative 30 degrees, I'll come back and we'll put them in their pen and see if something happens. Okay, we have our three winter uh, chippas or whatever these things are called. Uh, and I think I misspoke before. I said we start at 30 degrees. I think we actually start at 20 degrees, but close enough. So I'm gonna grab one of these hairy fish things, bring it over, plop it in. Let's go get another one. Yes, you. And I want to see if something happens when we get three in each pen. Hopefully something cool. But possibly nothing at all. I don't know. Here's our one, Chippy. Did I grab the right one? Yeah. Okay, here we go. You win! Yes! It acknowledged my efforts. Woo! You win the game. All right. Uh, I will say, um, other than the gameplay and the mathematics used to make this game, I do like how they did evolve. They did start looking different, like how they got hairier. And if you notice with the summer chippas, they got these uh, hats. I guess it's a hat. 
you got these hats uh, it looks like the way it's programmed any chip over 70 degrees or 70 or greater gets the hat and that means they can go here and then when you're trying to make them cold evolved creatures uh, they look like fish it looks like all of them with bat wings and they get hairier and then when they make it to the negative 30 or lower they get really hairy so then you know they're ready all right so pretty cool this was called Chipasic Park and if you want to come play I'm standing at negative 92 negative 57 all right thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time